loader washer bearings part three. Now they have the front of your machine exposed like this, it's time to take the back apart. To start with, you're gonna wanna remove your belt. Just rotate it around, it'll come right off. And you're gonna wanna remove the center bolt here. Usually you need a three quarter inch socket. Some of the really old, smaller machines take a 916 like this one. Uh, in that case, I usually remove it and then tap it for half 13 and put a regular one back in. But anyway, take that out. Get your puller mounted in place. I like to put a impact rated socket in line in between. I do not want the end of the puller going into the threads on the drum and messing all that up. I mean, if it does, you can still re-tap it and fix it, but why break it if you don't have to? But with all of that in place, your jaws like locked in nice and tight. You're gonna wanna hold the pulley so it doesn't rotate around and then just crank it right off. case the keyway came off with the pulley which is good if not just grab it with vice grips and tap it off with a hammer now these are fairly light on the 18 pound model if you're doing a 50 or 60 pounder you're going to want to do the same procedure but keep your feet out of the way have some wood back here and pretty much just guide it and drop it onto the wood once you're at this point we can go ahead and get ready for our next step <laughs> 